Welcome back, folks. Today, we're going to talk about the basics of egg incubation, chicken egg incubation in particular. First off, if you're new to this channel, I'd like to say welcome and consider joining the family. Uh, if you're interested in stuff like then you're in the right place. So, what is incubation? Well, incubation is actually a period of time where certain particular conditions have to be met in order for a egg to develop and, well, turn into a baby chick over the 21 day period, given the conditions are met. And the first condition we're gonna talk about requisite for successful incubation is temperature. The temperature for the 21 day incubation period has to remain between 99 and 101 degrees Fahrenheit. Or for those who have never been exposed to freedom, 37.22 and 38.33 degrees Celsius. Now, what temperatures are deadly? Uh, below 96 degrees Fahrenheit is bad. That's bad, they can't stay there for very long, but that is not as bad as them getting up if they get above 105 for 15, maybe 20 minutes, that'll cause them to not live. You'll, I mean, you, you lost them. The second condition we're gonna talk about is humidity. Now, in artificial incubation, all incubators come with a tray of water and they give you certain instructions on which tray to fill up with how much water at what time during the incubation period. But they don't have a monitor in there that you know tells you the percent humidity of the air in the incubator, which is really important, which brings me to an important point. At the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of an incubator I built out of a refrigerator that monitors humidity and temperature. Now, during most of the incubation process, between day one and day 18, your magic number is gonna be somewhere between 50 and 60% humidity. But on the last three days, you need to crank it on up to I don't know, 70 or 75%. Now, if you're in doubt, you know, if you're just adding water, guessing at it, guess high. If you think, well, this might be enough water, put some more. If you think, well, this might be too much water, you're in good shape. Uh, too high a humidity within reason typically is not an issue, but if they dry out, they won't hatch. If the humidity is not high enough during the end of the incubation process, the chicks will end up stuck to the membrane and that's terrible. Now the third condition requisite for successful incubation is turning. Yes, God Almighty in his infinite wisdom put it in the chicken's tiny little brain that while they're sitting on the eggs, they need to turn them every now and then. So artificial incubation, what do we do? We turn the eggs. Why do we do this? Turning the eggs keeps the embryo or the, the developing yolk part, that's what turns into the chicken. It keeps it from penetrating the albumin. I don't know how to pronounce it. Albumin, I think is how you pronounce it. But it is the gelatinous, the white of the egg. Now the yolk or embryo develops in the egg and it's sitting in that cushion of egg white, basically. That's its nutrition. So. As it's developing, it gets a little heavier. And the heavier it gets, it, it can't sit on that egg white or it'll penetrate down to the bottom of it and uh, stick to the membrane, which is also a problem. Now, keep in mind, you do not turn the eggs the last three days of the incubation process. The last point I want to make is about ventilation. Ventilation is absolutely, absolutely necessary for two different reasons. One, it keeps the oxygen level high enough, and two, it keeps the carbon dioxide levels low enough. Now, without ventilation, if you plugged it up airtight, the oxygen levels would decrease, which is bad for chicks. Oxygen levels too high are also bad for chicks, but unless you live in a hospital with oxygen poured on the wall, or you got granny's old, old oxygen bottle over there in the corner with a hose stuck in the incubator, the oxygen level's not gonna get too high. We're trying to keep it from getting too low. But like I said, we're also trying to keep carbon dioxide from building up in the incubator. And that's really important. Now, if you're interested in going down that rabbit hole and ending up with the worst 
math induced headache you've ever had, I would like to recommend you to hatchability.com. They have a whole a whole thing lined out of how you can figure the ventilation in an incubator. Now, I'm not affiliated with hatchability.com at all. I don't even, I mean, I don't know much about them other than they have a section, you can see it on the screen, of very in-depth math calculations on the needs of incubator ventilation. I mean, somebody has put in some work and, and studied this to a great extent. As far as the refrigerator build goes, you're gonna have to subscribe to see that. And you'll also see our 30 by 50 high tunnel going up. And we're also working on something to get our chickens out of this little pen area here and get them in a mobile tractor unit. And also we're trying to get our rabbits out of these pens and into a colony. I believe a colony will work better than what we've got here. So basically what I'm saying is we got a lot of stuff coming. If you want to be a part of it, go ahead and click that subscribe button. We'd love to have you. Until next time, God bless. Y'all take care.